when we talk about public transport and sustainable transport, we talk in the same time about accessibility. And what is accessibility? Accessibility is giving people the option of reaching what they need in the quickest and easiest way possible. Here we are looking at the public transport stop in Grimsad called Eugersal. What are the problems that we can see with this public transport stop? We have to say that it's the public transport stop which has the largest traffic in Grimstad in the sense that both local lines, regional lines and um, national lines pass through here. This is the stop that take, takes the most traffic. When somebody comes from Kristiansand and goes into Grimstad, they stop on this side. The university is in that area of uh, the city, so people that come from the university take a direct line, which only stops here at Oigerzalen on this side, come from there. By bike or by foot, they have to come here and they want to get as fast and as quick as possible to their public transport station. Only there is no pedestrian crossing nowhere near the station. The closest pedestrian crossing is all the way over there. Do you want to walk this much? Probably you don't. Also, the uh, public transport stops on both sides do not have electric lighting in the evenings and they are quite small. And the bike parking that is right next to, um, to the bus stop doesn't have a roof over it. Now there is a new paid bike parking where you can buy a uh, parking there and put it there, but it, most people try to avoid spending extra money. So we have to consider when we plan public transport uh, stop the way people access it, from where would people come and how would people go there and if it's easy for them to get on the bus, like the bus that just stopped right now on the bus stop. There are also a couple of good things about uh, this public transport stop. The fact that there is a park and ride right next to the stop which is easily accessible and it's also next to the cycle hotel in the bike parking. It's a big plus because people can come here and uh, use the bus stop also from a park and ride perspective. Another good part is the tactile strip that is made for people with vision impairment which is continuous and also marks very clearly the places where people get on the bus and the fact that there is an electronic display right in the bus stop itself. These things are very big positives. On the other hand, given the traffic of this bus stop, the size of the shelter is quite small and also the seating area for it. Overall, what we need to understand when we, come, when we talk about accessibility and public transport is the fact that when we plan public transport the station, we need to consider every scenario possible about how people get to it in the fastest and easiest way for them.